Welcome to the Dave DeBob Big Show, presented by Seat77.com. <laughs> As always, I'm Dave DeBob. Today, I'm coming to you live from the super plush Seat77 broadcast studios here in the heart of the Silicon Valley. Oh boy, producer Buck, have we got a huge show for everyone today. We've got a recap of Super Bowl number 50. <laughs> We've got Marshawn Lynch hanging it up and breaking news, North America. It appears Derek Fisher is out as the head coach of the New York Knickerbockers. <laughs> All of that and more on today's super big show. Okay, so um, producer Buck, we are blowing up North America. You can find us on iTunes as well as TuneIn Radio. We want to hear from you. North America, drop us a line. Let's dive into it, shall we, Producer Buck? Yeah, I, I know. It was, it was a big weekend of football. And I, I have to say, we did a fantastic job here at, at the big household watching the Super Bowl. Now, we, we we had we had our we had our buffalo wild wings we, we had our nachos we, we had we had our guac we had our signs <laughs> producer buck we even had the plates and the napkins what we didn't have was tofu or or sushi <laughs> we did the super bowl the way the super bowl is supposed to be done anyways so on to the game so you know clearly this was one of the best defended Super Bowl games that personally I have ever witnessed. I think both defenses played extremely well. It was it was fun to watch. I, I know for the the kids and a lot of people out there, they, they probably came out and said this was just a flat out boring Super Bowl game. But for those of us that can appreciate really solid defense, um, you know, you really got to give it to the Denver Broncos and even the Carolina Panthers for for playing some uh, outstanding uh, defense in this particular game. Now, of course, Von Miller got the uh, the big MVP award, uh, which was fantastic for him and the rest of the Bronco defense uh, could have uh, shared in that award. And I hope Von just is friendly with the rest of his uh, uh, defensive team and lets them drive the car at least for one day. <laughs> it's kind of like the like the Stanley Cup championship. You know, producer Buck, yeah, uh, if you win the Stanley Cup, you get the trophy and the, you get to walk around with the trophy, uh, you know, for a day. I hope Vaughn does the same thing with the vehicle he was handed. Um, real quick, the Super Bowl commercials were terrible this year. Absolutely terrible. The best commercial, in my opinion, were was the sheep, who were singing Queen, a Queen song. That was by far the uh, the best commercial. The rest of them were just boring, and, and, and they were commercials like you would see during reruns of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. <laughs> it's it's un unbelievable. So I had a chance to kind of think about this, you know, should Peyton Manning ride off into the sunset? And, you know, everybody's talking about, you know, Peyton Manning retiring and moving on. And... Let me pull some stats up for you here. First of all, Peyton in the game went 13 for 23 for a whopping 141 yards. They went one for 14 on third down conversions. Look, I could have gone one for 14 on third down conversions in the game. <laughs> Peyton had one interception and a QBR rating that didn't make it into double digits. Peyton Manning, it is time for you to retire or head to Los Angeles and become a Ram backup quarterback. Um, Cam Newton on the other side of the ball went 18 for 41 for 265 yards, one interception. Maybe Cam should retire too. 16.9 on his QBR. If you do the math, <laughs> the combined QBRs for these two is like around... 12. I mean, it's just a terrible quarterbacking performance. It is the worst quarterbacking performances that I have ever seen in a Super Bowl. 
So was it bad quarterbacking or great defense? And I really think it was both, but you really got to give it to both of these defenses. They kicked a lot of ass. Denver, congrats on your big Super Bowl victory. And it will be fun to watch <clears throat> the party that takes place in the Mile High City coming up in the next couple days. So um, over the weekend, uh, yeah, I had I had some time, producer Bach, to to spend with the kids. We 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 witnessed the slowest checker in the world at Target. <laughs> I I sat in a Target line with with uh, with my daughters, and we watched this lady just just you know, slowly scan things, slowly scan things, slowly scan things. It took forever. But my favorite kid moment of the weekend has to go to my daughter, Kelsey, who right before bedtime decided to show me a science project that her and her friend had worked on earlier in the day. And what did I find, Producer Buck? It's a water bottle. <laughs> and the water bottle had lemonade in it filled with M&Ms. Uh, you, <laughs> you gotta love that. Anyways, so back to the, um, real quick, back to the Super Bowl. Um, I, I, I think when we look back in this and everybody has a chance to, to kind of absorb what happened, people are going to come out and start to say this was the best defended Super Bowl game they'd ever witnessed. The Denver Bronco defense, Wade Phillips, should, should get a bonus for what he did to Cam Newton. Um, a tremendous job. Uh, by the Broncos and their defense. Now, if you didn't hear, uh, towards uh, right after the Super Bowl was over, it was like right after, it was like literally, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes later, Marshawn Lynch, beast mode, he does it, he sends out a tweet, yeah, and this is a man of very few words. Very few. I have actually never heard, <clears throat> excuse me, a complete Marshawn Lynch sentence. I know he can do it, but I've never actually heard one. So anyway, so Marshawn goes ahead and decides to retire. And he retires by posting a picture of some tennis shoes hanging from a power line, which also has different meanings to different people in the 420 world. That being said, Marshawn Lynch has decided to hang him up and he is out and has retired from the National Football League. Congrats, Marshawn, on a fantastic uh, career. Um, and uh, would love to see you get into broadcasting next. I, I really, I think it would be fantastic if that CBS, that horrific CBS morning show, um, the NFL Today, would bring in um, Marshawn Lynch. Actually, it's a good show, but it would be fun to add um, Marshawn Lynch uh, to the mix. Anyways, Breaking news out of New York this morning. Phil Jackson has had enough of Derek Fisher and has fired his protege. Replacing him is no, is, is, is really hard to believe, but it is Kurt Rambis who will run the triangle offense. If you think about Kurt Rambis, he coached the Lakers for a little while, like 37 games, I think. He spent two years as the head coach of my Minnesota Timberwolves, and he led them to nothing. Congrats to the New York Knicks on getting Kurt Rambis as your new head coach. Uh, look for Luke Walton to interview with um, Phil Jackson um, during the off season. And finally today, I know producer Buck, we're, we're, we're going to wrap it up here soon. Um, and finally today, if you didn't have a chance to watch the post game presser uh, in the Super Bowl where Cam Newton, he gets up. He's asked a bunch of questions. He answers them. He's not happy to be there. And then somebody asks him about the band of brothers that is the Carolina Panthers. And Cam gets up and walks away. Look, Cam, Superman is not a sore loser. You are the brand. You are the MVP of the National Football League. You represent the Shields brand. I don't care if you guys didn't score a single point you have to sit up there, answer the questions like a man, and not just walk off. Cam Newton, you, my sir, are a sore loser. <laughs> okay. Um, producer Buck, I know we got to get out of here. Short show. Um, uh, we did change the name of the show. The name of the show is now the Dave DeBob Big Show. 
Um, and so this is the first installment of that. Um, we are uh, looking forward to uh, doing lots of cool things. Hopefully get some interviews along the way as well. Um, that being said, we are on TuneIn's radio as well as iTunes for, I know I'm wrapping it up, Producer Buck, for the Dave DeBaugh Big Show. <laughs> I'm Dave DeBaugh reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, but everyone can act like one. Cam, and good luck, North America.